it was not enough for the king to force several families to have a royal first communion together. He has further degraded my family name by forcing us to gather at the house of Milo. <sighs> I must admit, I was eager to see the inside of the place, but my curiosity was certainly unwarranted. They possess as little style as they do charm. And yet, the Duke and his family have found favor with the king. It would serve me well to align with them, as much as it pains me to do so. You are now listening to Prestige the Podcast, Episode 7, Royal First Communion. Your Grace... How did you enjoy your first royal communion? A beautiful ceremony, indeed. All the glory to God. And your eldest daughter's gown was uh, lovely. I've never seen one quite like it. Ah, merci. I had it sent from Italy, especially for her. One of a kind. You must share the name of your fashion house. I should like a gown for my wife. Oh, no, 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 your grace. I'd share my husband before I'd share my dressmaker. (laughs) Amen to that. (sighs) What a spirited daughter you have, your grace. A bit too spirited. Fabienne, peut-être you should trade your wine for water, huh? Uh, When does your wife return from her trip? She is in America, correct? She's traveled to Jamaica, San Juan, uh, Louisiana. She's been working aboard to help us establish trade routes. (laughs) Oh, a duchess who works. How modern. My mother uses her status to help her country. I admire her wholeheartedly. (laughs) Gade, King Christophe is here. Thank you all for attending the Royal First Communion. It brought such a joy to my face to see our children, the future of Haiti, receive the blessing of the Lord. Fabi, hush, pebushu. But in the future, I may request a shorter prayer service. My heart was with the Lord, but my stomach was in the dining room. (laughs) I hope you did not stall luncheon on my account. Please let us eat. A toast is in order. Shall I fetch young Fabienne another glass of wine? <laughs> oui, madame. I think my daughter has had enough. Emmanuel had more than me. The Milo girl stares down at her place setting, clearly baffled at the array of silverware set before her. I know our ancestors did not die for me to choose from nine forks. Oh, Fabienne. The first course. Honestly, giving these people money is like putting a dog in a schoolhouse and expecting it to speak Latin. <laughs> you must stop treating me as if I were a child. Mademoiselle Celestin, I can hear your ranting from my end of the table. Is there a problem? Apologies, Your Highness. I simply do not understand why we must emulate those European values. As opposed to? Well... We're discovering our roots. Celebrate vaudou, not communion. Pure blasphemy. Oh, bon Dieu, mon maître. How could you say such a thing? Perhaps it is not my mind the Europeans have corroded, but yours. Do we not deserve opulence? As we built the great temples of Timbuktu and bronze statues of Dahomey, we shall reclaim all that is entitled to us. If you can do so by example, instead of false, I should agree. Fabienne, don't attempt to advise the king. Your Highness, I sincerely apologize for my... Perhaps I won't have to meddle after all. Young Fabienne seems to have dug her own grave and built the coffin to boot. member of my family. Nonsense, Milo. She's an intelligent girl. I must invite her to the palace to hold debates with my daughters. They will need it for their philosophical studies. Madame Pedro, are you all right? Yes. I must step out for some air. This melange of perfume is too stifling for my senses. 
your late. We. Oui. There was so much to be done after the communion ceremony. It is a blessed day. You can drop the facade, Sister Desiree. It's just you and I. Why did you want to see me? We may have to enact my plan sooner than I'd hoped for. Are you certain? The situation is worse than I thought. My husband, Pierre, may prefer to sit on our hands and wait for the House of Milo to impugn themselves. And indeed, with a lush for a daughter and a rake for an heir, he may have a point. But the king is too fond of them for my taste. Oh, I'm not sure of this, madame. Perhaps there's another way. (sighs) Ah, garanti fee. So sentimental. Don't tell me you have fallen for a boy. Ah, you sent me to the convent to become a nun. Then you sent me to seduce Emmanuel. To purposely create scandal. I never wanted any of this. But you want your family to have security? Your mother is dead. Your father is injured. Your precious little brothers and sisters would be on the streets without my generosity. Ay, Miss Amiwoy, you are a wicked woman, <laughs> says the pregnant nun. Emmanuel may be flawed, but he doesn't deserve win. And he won't receive it if he follows my instructions. You get money. He retains his status. And I increase mine. What is the issue? You are fortunate that I would do anything for my family. Or else your schemes would be fruitless You may think me wicked, but everything I do is for my family as well. Their lives, their safety. We stand in the house of Milo when its former occupant was sent to the guillotine. I wish you no harm, Desiree. Far from it. And I hope one day you can see that. Wait for my next message. Power is a curious thing. When men lack it, they fight wars and shed blood to attain it. But when men gain power, they become like the very men they sought freedom from. The last duke was sentenced to death for offending the king. Fabian Celestin does the same and gets invited for afternoon tea? If the house of Milo gains favor with the king, where does that leave my family? It's a situation I'd rather not face. As they say, the best defense is a superior offense. And I am prepared to make my first move. Prestige the Podcast is a Rainbow Media production. Today's episode featured Kathleen Gonzalez as Antoinette Perdue, Jobert Metalus as Louis Celestin, Denise Milfort as Fabienne Celestin, Cynthia D. Hilaire as Sister Desiree, and Richardson Cherry as King Christophe. The podcast was written and created by Ray Benjamin and Ollie Kins Planchet, produced by Joseph Fuentes, directed by Ollie Kins Planchet, and executive produced by Ray Benjamin and Ollie Kins Planchet. Our sound mixer and editor for this episode was Joseph Fuentes. The sound designer was Alexis Adimora, engineer Alyssa Midcalf, with additional sound design and engineering by Joseph Fuentes. The Prestige podcast theme song was composed by Darnell Monest Team. Our production assistant was Maya Cryer. Associate producers Mick O'Neill, J. Planchet, and Shaquan Womack. For business inquiries, email us at info at prestigepod.com and follow us on Instagram at prestigepod for more information and updates. Thanks for listening. <laughs>